Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of some live video game hunting. We don't do anything too dramatically different in this one, just hit the local charity shops, but the difference between this one and the last video are night and day with the finds. So let's jump straight into the footage and join me on the hunt. Okay, so nothing in that first stop. We're not taking ourselves too seriously today. It's a Saturday, not really a very successful hunting day, in, at least in my experience anyway. But we're out and about, we're doing a few errands, picking a few bits up. So we might as well stop off at two or three charity shops and see if we pick anything up. So I'm gonna get on with my few bits and pieces and we'll see you in the next one. So nothing in the Jack and Jill either. Had a good route around. I did get a tip about a framed poster that was up there probably three days ago now. It's the first chance I've had to go up and unfortunately it must have been sold. But they had these pretty cool Lord of the Rings games workshop sets. They were still brand new sealed. They had them priced for like a tenner. I think they go for about 30, 35, 40 quid. So a really good bargain there for someone. I'm sure by the time this video comes out, they'll be long gone. But anyway, so yeah, just going to do one more stop now. We'll hit the Vincent's down in Kulak. It's on our way back to the house anyway. See if we find anything there. And sure, if not, we'll jump out another day and see if we have a bit more luck then. All right, last stop. What do you think? Games or no games? Let's find out together. And they actually had games. Nothing absolutely crazy to write home about, but one notable pickup is this Modern Warfare 2. As I'm sure you all know at this stage, these are flying up in value because I think they reopened the servers or something like that. But I'm pretty sure last time I checked, this is trading for about eight quid. So all in all, we spent 13. So that's gonna get us a good chunk of our money back. We've found this game hundreds of times at this stage and we always have no better trading it in. And then I just grabbed five more games, just ones that we don't have that we're gonna throw into the collection, but uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game on the DS. I don't pick up enough DS games. I kind of just pick up stuff that I can trade off, you know, the sort of the dogs and stupid kitty titles that actually do pretty well in trade, but I need to start, start sort of keeping an eye out for these little silly things. So Lego games are a bit of crack, so that's when we might have a little go of on the go at some stage. Sticking to the Lego team, we've got the Lego movie video game. Now this is an essentials one and it doesn't have a manual, but it's got a really nice disc on it. I don't think I have this one. I possibly have it on 360 or something like that, but you know yourselves at this stage, it's an addiction. When we see games cheap enough, we just pick them up whether we have them for another console or not. Uh, an absolutely immaculate copy of Fight Night 2004. Some of the Fight Night games were a bit of crack back in the day. Again, no manual with this one, but pretty nice disc on it. So. Another one for the PS2 shelf, which is rapidly expanding. Uh, another Lego game, this time it's actually, did I get Birds of the Caribbean on the feckin'? Yeah, I picked it up on the DS and I'm after picking it up on the 360 as well. So I'm literally just talking about addiction and picking up games for the sake of it. And there's two Pirates of the Caribbean games in one stop. But sure, hey, don't have this one on the 360. Again, really nice disc. Don't know if it's worth adding in trade, but actually, 
land looking at the label here this is always a good idea of whether you'll get something decent for it or not now there's a bit of an old sticker but at one stage cex were selling it for 12 euro which suggests to me that you would probably have gotten maybe five quid in trade actually let's just give it a quick scan with the cex app here we are here we'll pop on the barcode scanner and just see if we can get it to come up really quickly and yeah selling for 10 quid now but trading for a five or so I don't know, maybe since we have the DS one, we might throw this in as well because we've got the Modern Warfare 2 worth 8, this is worth a fiver, so that would be the 13 quid that we spent back and we'll get to keep four games, five games even for free, so can't go wrong with that. And the last one there is just a copy of Just Cause 2, have the first one, haven't gotten around to playing it yet, but this is a classics version, fair enough, but disc is, mm, it's a bit okay, it should play all right, uh, but it's got the manuals and all in there as well, so... Decent last stop, finally finding a few games in one place. So we'll try and get out again next week and hopefully the luck continues. So they were the six finds from the first hunting day. I think I mentioned it in the car. It wasn't even a hunting day. It was more just running a few errands before we went away on holidays. But went away for a week, came back, gave it a few days and then went on another local hunt. And let's jump into the footage of that now and see what we found. All right, so for some reason, the GoPro decided to stop recording all audio for this clip back in the car and then the next little shot I go in, but then it gets back to normal after that. So. Apologies if it messes with your senses or whatever, but uh, we'll get back to normal here fairly quickly. It's just saying the usual here, it was only two euro, nice disc, didn't have it for the collection, blah blah blah, you know the drill by now. Time to jump into the two or we never find anything. Alright, so we actually found some games in there. Not the big haul that we've been waiting for, but two games. One for the PS3, one for the PS2. Guitar Hero rocks the 80s. We don't have a Guitar Hero, but look, it's probably worth about two quid. It's in absolutely perfect condition. I don't think it's ever even been taken out of the box, to be honest with you. This has definitely never even been played, so... These are Euro each, so why not? I picked up a copy of Ruse on the PS3. I think I've picked this up before on the Xbox 360, but the one I got was like the French version or something like that. So nice to have just a regular one, although there's no manual with this, but again, disc is absolutely perfect. Looks like it's never been played. So two for two, let's keep going, see what else we can find. Oh, I just spilled coffee on my Oh, jeez. <laughs> Do you have a tissue? No, we don't have a fucking tissue. <laughs> First stop, another game, not finding loads of stuff, but picking up something in every stop so far. A copy of Rise of the Argonauts on the PS3. Disc is nice in this one, no manual, unfortunately, but it was only a couple of euro, and it's one that we don't have. They had a copy of Uncharted 4 in the window there. We already have it, it was selling for five. I think it trades for about six. So there wasn't even like a decent come up in trading it. So anyway, we'll keep going. We have a few more stops to get yet. Let's see if we can keep this little streak going and keep finding more games. Bitch. 
we broke our little streak there. Didn't pick up any games in that one. Was going to get the Britney one for the crack just to keep going, but the disc was actually in bits, so it was no use. There was actually a couple of little horror DVDs and stuff in there that I had a look at, but again, this were scratched a bit, so left them behind. So I think we'll keep going. We're doing okay today, so we're going to nip out the swords, drop into the two there, and see if we have any more joy. So this is the pile that we came away from that last stop. Ended up grabbing 13 games. They were all three or each with the exception of this Mass Effect trilogy which was priced for fiver. I think that's about what you get in trade credit for it. I think it sells for around a tenner or something like that. But the discs were all in absolutely immaculate condition. So this is going to look really nice on the shelf. And we'll move on the 1, 2 and 3 that we already have. I don't think we get much in trade for them. Maybe a few quid. But should we get another game out of them? No point in keeping the three individual ones and the trilogy as well. And this will look much neater on the shelf. But then the other 12 games that we grabbed. They were three euro each. I've mentioned before, particularly in this actual Vincent store, a lot of the games they often price as DVDs, and DVDs, book CDs are buy two, get one free. So normally you do kind of get better value than the three euro each. Unfortunately, these were all stickered as computer games, so they were three euro each. Picked out about 10 of them. When I got up to the counter, the woman actually said that I could have the buy two, get one free on it. So I went and grabbed another two because that just brought the average cost down to two quid each. So I ended up spending, what did we get? 12 of these at two euro each. So I spent 24 and five was 29. I had five euro credit on like a loyalty card, which I used, which brought it down to 24. And sure, we'll talk about it as we go along, but there's a few games in here that we don't need that we're gonna trade, and that's pretty much gonna cover all our money back. So basically what we keep from here is gonna be free additions to the collection. And that's what we love doing on this channel. But yeah, in no particular order, let's just go through which ones we got. The majority of these are pretty much complete and this were all really nice. I've shown footage of me checking them in the shop. I'm not gonna go through opening them all again. But a quick look at what we picked up. We have a copy of Batman Arkham Asylum. Haven't played this one yet. Batman games in the 360 are supposed to be absolutely class. And I do have, I don't know how I picked it up. I think I got a copy of this one day that actually doesn't have the manual. It's just this outer sleeve and the disc for some reason. So I don't know how that happened, but now we have a complete copy of it. So we're basically an empty case in the manual away from having another one that we can trade off. Uh, I think it goes for maybe three, four quid. I'm not sure how much it goes for in trade. So I picked up this Aliens vs Predator. Looks pretty class. Again, I think I've played one of them back in the day. I'm not sure if it was this one or not, but nice one to have in the collection. That A copy of Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. 
I'm not going to talk about all of these as I go along, but some really nice titles. These two are class additions for the collection. I actually can't wait to pop these in and have a go. But a copy of Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. And then we also got Spyro, A Hero's Tale. They're two really nice ones to find out in the wild, so delighted to add those to the collection. Picked up, this was one of the ones that I went back for that's only worth about two quid, but needed to activate the old multi buy clause that she was giving me. So, a copy of Assassin's Creed 2. You're probably wondering why the hell I'm picking up Assassin's Creed 2, but having organised all my Xbox games on this new Xbox shelf that I'm kind of saving for the game room. Turns out I don't have Assassin's Creed 2, I've probably looked it over a million times. So, grab this one. Yeah, it's the Classics Edition, but it's a really nice disc. It's got the manual, it's fully complete, and we'll trade it up for the proper version another time. But. Then we have, I think, all the Assassin's Creed games on the 360 now. Someone will correct me when I do the game room tour and see I'm missing something randomly along the way. Moving on to a game series that I actually have never played and don't have any games from. Picked up a copy of Borderlands 2. A few people have raved about the Borderlands game. They keep telling me I should be trying them out, so we'll get that in and give it a go at some stage. I uh, forgot this one even existed. This is Lord of the Rings The Third Age. I do have the trilogy behind me here somewhere on the PS2. I kind of looked this over at the time because I just assumed it was one of the three, but... Close inspection realised it was actually the third age. Don't have it, so another nice little addition for the collection. And then finally got my hands on, well, I think I got, which one did I get? I got a Kingdom Hearts game recently enough. It wasn't on, was it on the PS2? No, it was on the PS3. I think I got like a special edition of 1.5 or something. And this is Kingdom Hearts 2. So this is another really nice pickup. Really cool game to find in the world and one that I will have to have a go of because I know a lot of people that watch the videos have commented on how they love the Kingdom Hearts series. So. Definitely one we play at some stage, but this was in really nice condition. I love the cover art in this one, so great addition for the collection. And then these last three, two of them I already have. One of them is for the Xbox One, so I don't have an Xbox One I've mentioned before, so we'll probably trade it off while we can still get a flavour for it. But that's a copy of Assassin's Creed Origins. And just to show the condition of some of these games, this one looks like it was never even taken out of the case. It's in absolutely perfect condition, so no bother trading that in. That would be an easy one to chop into CX. And then two easy traders all day long, GTA 5. Can't remember how much this one's going for now. I think it's maybe about six, seven quid, but we also have a copy of GTA 4. I think this is the big trade with a lot. Can't remember exactly how much it's trading for, but I'll be putting all the prices. What's with the camera on my own here? I think I'm on this side, so I'll have prices coming up here and <laughs> probably the other way around, but I will. I'll put all the little CEX screenshots up there, just so as you can see what these games are selling for, what they're trading for. So yeah, three games that we're going to trade off there to pretty much cover the cost of everything else and add them all to the collection for free. So that's our bread and butter. That's what we love doing on this channel and we'll do pickups like that all day long. So yeah, finally back to finding a decent pile of games on the hunt. I'm going to head off on a little road trip, I think, in the next day or two. So that will be one to look forward to in the next video. And then in a couple of weeks, we're going to have the Irish gaming market. So if you've not got tickets for the Irish gaming market yet, I'll leave all the links down below. Make sure you get your tickets and check this event out. It's not to be missed. There's going to be merchants there selling games, selling class merchandise. There's cosplay, there's retro game set up. It's just going to be an unbelievable event. So make sure that you get your tickets. Again, the link will be down below. It's a day out that I can't wait for and I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks as always for checking out the videos and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.